So I think that everyone here wants to listen in lightning talk uh, rather than the awesome speech and the message from the Mr. Kim, Mr. Yangnong Kim. Okay, anyway, yeah, I think uh, now can start now. Yeah, my name is Noah, I'm from Taiwan, Taipei, and also I'm the frontier so for many, many PyCon. So in here, I want to, I didn't know how many time I have, but probably I can use all, right? But anyway. So I very, I want to share something, some information from, for example, from PSA, and I want to announce the, some the dates and venue from the PyCon in Asia. For example, the PyCon Philippines, Japan, Taiwan, including the Japan, uh, America. So I didn't know how many speech, how, does anyone want to try to give us a talk? You can try to set, set up now. Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, two, your second one. Oh, you want yeah, to I think the, around the five minute talk. Yeah, but I think you can talk more. Oh, <laughs> no. I just keep, keep five minutes. Okay, because we have 30 minutes, but now we probably just only have five or four speaker. So, is anyone want to talk more or want to introduce yourself, your project or your company? For example, you want to recruit some people? Yeah, it's a good time. You, you, it's your chance now. I can give a talk. Five oh, minutes. No problem. Okay, so it's then what? One, two, three. We have three, so we have fifteen. We have just fifteen minutes. Now we also have three speaker allowed. Can we still talk? Is anyone want to talk now? Okay. Anyway, yeah, we have three speaker now. Now we can start now. Okay. So you can see my topic here, and uh, obviously I want to share some information like the PSF and uh, the PyCon the date and venue which we announce the next year. So the first one is, uh, how many people know PSF? I think all of you already know. How many people join the PSF now already? They become the best member or supporting member or contributing manager or fellow? If not yet, yeah, it's a good time to join the PSF. Because I think the, okay, I'm sorry, I it's a, it, I mistake. Anyway, I'm uh, because I think now it's a recording, and uh, I want to say thanks for all audience, all speed staff, and all volunteer, and all sponsor to help PyCon Hong Kong this year to make this happen. Because we think that everyone, including you, every one of you, is very important to join the conference and also to join the community. Without you, we cannot make it. Make it true. So thanks first, uh, and the second one is, I want to announce the PSF mission again, because uh, this morning I have a short talk talking about the PSF and the pipeline Asia, but now I want to talk again. The PSF have mission because the PSF is not only the manager, not only the foundation to recruit, uh, to support. They also have mission to help the people to the developer, Python developer, Python community, Python group, including Python com conference. And also we have dedicated to try to reach everyone who interested in Python or without Python is also welcome. So the mission of Python, the uh, mission of the PSF is the, we can say the mission of Python Software Foundation is promote, protect and advance the Python programming language. And to support, to facilitate the growth of the diverse and the international community of Python programmers. This is the PS mission. Hello everyone. Yeah, to join us, this is Randy Talk. Yeah, you won't be seeing, or you can give it a talk. You're welcome, if you have time, you will, you can give it a talk. Really, it's a free time. Come on, come on. Yeah. Give it, oh yeah, try to sell the next one. Yeah, we talk about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are, yeah, you are Yeah, you are the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you will talk. Okay. Uh, have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, have a seat. Oh, I think, yeah. oh, just the Don't be hesitate, yeah. Because we are recording, it's very good for entertainment, or inside, sorry, entertainment. For we can make your record, yeah. And also, we know the, sure. The PSF have announced the newsletter. If anyone interested in the latest news, 
you follow this one, that can give you the native tone, native scenarios of Python and the PSF or the Python community. Yeah, I think if you don't, yeah, you can check or uh, Google it. Another one is the uh, Python, the PSF community survey. Then uh, we know the PSF is also very care the how the response, how the people in the community, especially in the because it's not America. The Python is not using America only. It's a global. It's around the world. So the PSF very they want to know the people the feeling. They want to know the how to help the community and the pair of people who interest the Python, and also they want to know how to help you in dedicate, including the vital finance support or the fiscal support, like the help you to create a community conference like the PyCon. Yeah, this very good chance to the to tell the pairs of how can they help you. So don't be hesitate. Yeah, you can try to. Try to uh, try to uh, finish the submit survey, or you can Google it. Google it. By the way, uh, the, we have now we have four four languages, including the uh, English and uh, Spanish and the Chinese. So uh, I think uh, if anyone know, for example, the Japan, Korea, or Indonesia, India, or another language, please help to translate and uh, to share your friend and your community or your country. Another one is uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, because the PSF also the foundation, we also need the money to run uh, running everything, every stuff. So if you have money or you interesting, please support us. And uh, I say uh, we have many many conferences around the world, around maybe over 60, 60 conference Python conference around the world every year. So now we have say some of the feedback already done. The first one is the PyCon US. PyCon US, PyCon America, PyCon US will be held in May in Cleveland. So now also the PyCon US is open cover proposal. If you're interested in a favorite talk, yeah, try to Google it and try to submit. Another one is the PyCon Philippines. The PyCon Philippines is the PyCon APEC 2019 will be held in Manila. So in fact, for money are better in. And uh, now it's a couple of also is also open too. So try to Google it and try to give the talk. If we have time and to try to join, enjoy, try to uh, enjoy the culture of the Philippines. Yeah, very interesting because I, I will be there this year. And uh, I didn't know my talk will be something that will be open now. But uh, yeah, I will try that. Next one is Malaysia because uh, the we have an organizer from the PyCon Malaysia, Mr. James, and uh, he said uh, the the Malaysia we will usually we have the PyCon and end last week of August. So next year maybe the location will be there in the University of Malaya. So if you have, if you have time or if you are interested in the culture in Malaysia, especially in the Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, try to make a, uh, make a schedule to visit Malaysia and try to join the PyCon Malaysia this year. And also the Korea. The Korea also, the very, I say the Korea is also very, uh, very different culture. Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, every country have different culture. It's not only the Python, really. It's also enjoying the culture of different city, each country. So if you have time, also I also recommend that to join, try to consider about to go to Korea and join the PyCon Korea next year. Usually the PyCon Korea will be held in the middle of August too. So you can go to Korea first, and after PyCon Korea, then go to Malaysia to join the PyCon Malaysia in the end of the, the August. Next one will be Japan. The PyCon Japan will be announced the will be held in the September 15 and 70 in the Tokyo. So Oda City is uh, anyway is uh, you know the Japan is different culture. So yeah, it's very interesting. And also I prefer the ramen and the uh, not beef noodle barbecue. It's very delicious in Japan. Yeah, especially ramen. And then if you also you can try to. Uh, because we have we all we all part we all conference we have the after party so 
I have the experience about uh, every party have four ties. It means the first party, second party, third party, and the fourth party. So <laughs> it's a very interesting culture in Japan. Yeah, if you want to enjoy in the party, go to Japan. And the second, next, and the next one is uh, Pycon Taiwan. Pycon Taiwan, we just, I just got the information the next year, it's a very stranger because the, the date of the Pycon Taiwan will be very, very close to Pycon Japan. Then you can see the Python Taiwan. I said I just got the information. I just got the news from the, our organizer. They said the Python Taiwan next year will be held in the September 19 to 22. Then we can check Japan. Japan is the September 16 to 17. Taiwan is 19 to 22. So if we have really, if you have time, to try to go to Japan first, then go to Taiwan, then you can join the all over the PyCon, really. Okay, then, the, okay, that's all. So, thank you. Okay, so, I'm sorry, the next speaker, hello? Yeah, come here. Speaker, case. Yeah. What kind of topic you want to share? Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I'm okay, Keith. Yeah. I'm Keith uh, come from a local game company, Outbrace. Uh, today, I will I would like to talk about the human post estimation in mobile platform. Uh, so, you guys, because my bad English, so today I will talk in Cantonese. Come, 大家好啦. 可能大家會很好奇為什麼一間手機的遊戲公司 而是你的機買一些東西去決定你要什麼技術而不是你的機買一些東西去決定你要什麼技術那現在我們就遇到一個問題因為我們遇到一個問題之後你就一定要想辦法去解決那個問題那現在我們今次想到的辦法就是用
。咁我哋就、呃、想希望透過去 collect 啲 data 去解決呢、這個、呃這個 post estimation 嘅問題啦。咁咧，我哋呢個 project 咧同其他大部分核算量定嘅 project 係一樣嘅。首先你要清楚你嘅問題所在喺邊。咁我哋有問題所在呢，就係、是、我哋想去分析唔同嘅 post。咁呢，當你有個問題啦，咁你就去 collect data 啦。咁 collect data， 因為我哋 collect 嘅想解決個問題係啲動作嚟嘅，所以你係 collect video 嘅。之後我哋會咧會透過 Python 去幫我哋做一啲 data 嘅 preparation 啦。咁會做啲咩？例如喺 video 入面抽取返相應嘅 image， 然後擺到 post 嚟去抽取返佢嘅 feature 啦。咁呢，抽取晒所有 feature 之後，你要做 normalize 啦 ，scale 返所有 skeleton 啦，因為個個人嘅身形大細唔同㗎嘛。咁呢，我哋呢個 model 嘅 development 呢，都係用 Python 去做嘅。咁係基於返頭先所講嘅 process 啦，抽取骨架啦，抽取返佢嘅 feature 啦，之後再透過 auto encoder 同埋 DNA 嘅技術啦，一個用嚟做 filtering， 一個呢就用嚟做分類嘅。咁呢，我哋用使用我 Python。整完我哋嘅 model， 翻吞完，覺得個 confidence 足夠嘅時候咧，我哋就會開始將佢 export 出嚟，去到一個就叫做 PV file 咁嘅嘢。因為 PV file 咧就係類似翻，如果大家有玩物算量嘅咧，其實佢就係一個類似 trap on 咁嘅嘢。咁呢個 PV file 咧就會 contain 曬所有 ops 喺入邊，會將佢砌埋一嚿嘢。咁我哋就會再嚟一步，就係將佢轉成一個 light version 嘅。咁唔知大家有冇聽過 TensorFlow Light 啦？咁將佢轉成 Light Version 之後咧，我哋就可以直接用依一個所謂嘅 PV file 或者 PV Light 嘅 file 咧，就直接喺手機上面開發嘅。咁喺手機上面當然啦，我哋 iOS 咧就會用 Xcode 再加 C 加加啦。咁咧喺 Android 上面我哋會用 C 加加或者 Java 啦。咁咧？我相信大家最關注嘅喺 mobile 開發上面咧，最關注嘅都係 performance 嘅問題啦。咁我哋咧成個 algorithm 咧，如果要揾得好流暢，喺遊戲上面玩得好流流暢嘅話咧，大概、呃、Android 就可以支援到一二百乘一二百嘅圖像 input 啦。咁 iOS 咧就可以支援到二五六乘二五六嘅，係揾得好流暢嘅。但係如果要支援到五一二乘五一二咧，咁可能就需要、呃、Android 就需要一點二秒啦，大概。咁 iOS 就零點四秒啊。咁大家都知道 f i n p e r s e c o n d 係大概零點零二秒啊，所以個 performance 都唔係咁好嘅。但係咧，因為現在大部分嘅 mobile 嘅 platform 咧，都係喺 CPU 上面 run 呢啲誒物算量嘅 model 嘅。咁咧 ，Google 自從喺 Android 八點一之後咧，啊、um, ，sorry， 你睇下。OK， 誒、uh, uh, ，maybe give me。誒、uh, ten second or twenty second? Nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. Uh, I have a demo for you. This is the when the score. When you down, it detect down. When you up, it detect up. It is training uh for two uh posts, the down post and the up post. And if if anyone have interesting in uh mobile development, you can. Contact me, contact me. Yeah, this is my contact. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, next speaker, you got a five minute. So, you want to share? Yeah, now is the time. HDMI? Yeah. So yeah. Um. Okay. Is there something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh. Yeah. Hello. Uh. My name is uh, Mathis. I want to just very briefly uh talk about maybe one or two things. So have you guys heard about Nix or Nix OS? It's basically a package manager. Uh, why am I talking about this? Uh, you guys know Python, it's great. Python packaging, maybe not so great. So there are some tools that help with it, like pipenv is kind of new and shiny, but Nix is a general purpose package manager, so you can install any kind of software with it, not just Python. 
And I can't really go into the details, but it's really amazing because it's completely functional and the builds are really reproducible. So what works for you works for your colleague and your friend and whatever. So I'm just going to briefly demo how to use it. Um, on the left, or on your right, uh, no, on your left, you have a sort of Nix uh, description. Uh, it basically says create an environment uh, with Python 3 and use IPython and TensorFlow from the Nix packages in that environment. So here I'm in this directory with this file. So there's a shell.nix. Uh, the shell.nix is one open on the left side. And basically if I type nix shell, it will read this file and evaluate it and if necessary download the packages and compile the packages. Now we just have five minutes so this is already done. Uh, if I go out again, like just to prove it, like I don't have IPython, right? So if I activate it, I should have IPython, and I can like import uh, TensorFlow, something like this, and it actually imported, and I could run something and it would work. Uh, how much longer do I have? Too many. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. So basically, you have TensorFlow. You didn't have to worry about anything, and it would work on anybody's computer as long as they use Nix. Uh, you can install Nix on Mac OS, you can install it on any Linux, so Ubuntu or whatever is fine too. Um, the other cool thing for one minute is like, it's called Dear Env, which basically helps you track, track environments per directory. So here I can do uh, something like, uh, I basically echo something in a file called envrc, so it just says use Nix in that file. And that makes direnv, which is hooked into my shell, automatically aut activate this environment. Now I just have the IPython from before without having to do anything. And if I go out of this directory, it says unloading, and now, yeah, I'm not in that environment. If I go back in, uh, it activates it again. So you can have as many projects as you want on your computer tracked per directory. Very convenient. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if you want to try it out and want some help or something, you can just ask me. Okay, thank you. So, what's your name? Matis. Matis. Okay. Matis, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Matis. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not sure. What's your name? Nova. Yeah. Okay, uh, the, because we have almost a run of time, so. I'm Vignesh. Vatikeshwar. Uh, could just call me Vignesh. But Vignesh. Uh, you want uh, USB C? USB C. Uh, do you have a uh, any USB C command time? Mm. Uh, we don't have. Uh, How is this part we have mine? Okay. Before the setting, there was something I want to announce. Yeah, we got. Uh, Today, uh, we have a shuttle bus that is going to back to the station you, uh, you go. You, okay. We have a shuttle bus to go to the, which station you go to? Jinzhong, ma, oh. Yes, same, same station, same station, yeah, shuttle bus. The bus will be start at uh, 4.45, 4.45. The peak location is near the checking counter today. So if you want to go back to the Jinzhong station, sorry, I didn't know how to say. Yeah, please wait in the, the checking the area at before the 4.45. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. okay, that's welcome. Yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, you know, like I had no intention to speak, but then no just full name, and I'm very, very happy to. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. great. Hey, first thing you must, you know, kind of check is we're able to hear or not. Uh, so I have given this talk at many PyCon conferences before and I just wanted to share my experience with it. I'm not going to go through the entire talk because we definitely don't have uh, time for that. But just want to sparkle up a, a very simple thought about, you know, writing, uh, going further than Python. Like, you know, what all can you do with Python? You know Python and what can, what is the next step that you can take uh, in by learning programming languages? Uh, so this talk name was Pumping a Python Model Using Rust. This was one of my, the first talk that I've ever given in, in a PyCon. It was at uh, Indonesia, PyCon Indonesia. Then I gave this talk at PyCon Malaysia and PyCon US. And this actually opened up uh, like a lot of opportunities for me. I wrote a blog post after that, uh, you know, because people just saw my talk and they were like interested thinking that you can write a blog post. So the one reason why you should go out and, you know, uh, talk in developer facing conferences is uh, you, get, you, you get to, you know, show your skills and a lot more opportunities uh, with that. 
so coming back to the title uh pumping a python module in rust so this talk was all about you know how you could uh, maybe write a small portion of your python work task in a system programming language and see performance boost uh before that i just want to even talk about mozilla text speaker this is the program that actually got me into public speaking and my one of my first uh, conferences that i gave a talk was in hong kong open source conference in 2017 in the same room so i'm very happy to come back here and you know maybe a bit, as a better speaker like now I, when i came here for the first time i was very scared and i was not very confident but then my skills have grown exponentially so i would recommend a lot of you to actually utilize opportunities like this because lightning talks are great ways to do that i think i have 3 more minutes right yeah yeah, yeah that's, really that's plenty of time uh, so uh, so native extensions why do we need native extensions these are basically for you know getting performance boost getting more access to the hardware level api something of that sort so python kind of does that in many use you can use a lot of libraries but then under the hood they always write uh, you know c++ code Uh, so one one a good solution to native extensions in, in the python world is to always go back to the community and look for it so one some of the main, uh, if you look into some of the most popular python libraries most of the components are written in c++ right so if you take take python uh, uh, itself is kind of you know c python is uh, under hood interpreter is written in c uh, so but then the problem with c is that you no know, it's very difficult to write like for me it's very difficult to write and not many of us actually go out and write a c++ extensions So my talk was all about you know how you could use Rust, which is a system programming language, uh, about which I've written a book called Rust Cookbook as well. Uh, that also is an opportunity that I got when I started going out and speaking about my skills. Uh, and this this really helps you with uh, a lot of things that are problematic with uh, Rust, C plus plus, like memory management, segment fault, and data resources. So I have two more minutes left, and I'm not going to go to the entire slide. But then I'm going to refer you to my talk, which is there in YouTube, uh, in PyCon US. So there are a lot of amazing talks that were given over there, and you could just go out there and uh, check to ch ch check those other talks as well. So yeah, so I got some good views, around like two K views. That's like the maximum that I got. Because maybe it's just because it's uh, uh, PyCon US, and a lot of people attended. So one more minute. Mm. No. less than me less than a minute so that's all i wanted to talk today and then you know maybe encourage uh, you all to this is a very big slide okay i can't literally complete all of that but then <laughs> the point is uh, do or go do utilize these opportunities uh, you know talk about your skills that's very helpful uh, you you put out great content you get more opportunities so and one quick thing about tech speakers is i think the form is still open they are they done uh, so thank you so much i hope you learned a thing or two about me <laughs> it's really awesome yeah because i think we speak in the uh, indonesia before yeah now we are almost finished high because uh, we have a close announcement will be held in the the function run there so before you please you leaving you and uh, go to the function run and uh, before you leave in uh, we have the shuttle bus uh, pick up tomorrow morning 9:30 at the Jinjo station to 9:30 and also uh, our speaker we have a speaker dinner if you want please stay here the speaker dinner will be held in the 7 in at the north area but in the south okay tomorrow to the conference hello have fun and enjoy the day Shuttle bus will be held in the 4:45 445 here. Yeah, you 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 check in every check in. Yeah, so I'll, I'll contact you before that. Uh, yeah, you so just ask uh, uh I think you could just uh, come uh earlier uh, a little bit earlier so, uh, uh, ask to